5G aims to become for the enterprise what 4G was for the consumer, a platform for a revolution in the consumption of data. Billions of devices with low latency connections on a high bandwidth network. These requirements call for a redesign of the core and of the radio access. We shall use new frequencies, yes, but not only that, we will have many more cells. For example, telcos are expected to need up to 10 times more sites and antennas by 2026 than in 2020. It is also forecasted that there will be 32.4 million new or upgraded cells worldwide. Pretty much every major operator has signaled their interest and, and their intentions to go open RAN or virtualize uh, RAN. As we look at the evolution of ORAN over the next five years, I think not only will we see proving out of technology models and a technology ecosystem, but I think one of the most exciting changes will be the SI ecosystem that we see emerging that really brings together the best of cloud and lifecycle management and automation and core network technology skills. That's what will accelerate adoption and innovation. So the fundamental reason that operators are moving towards uh, ORAN in general, including the full reference architecture, which includes a virtualized RAN, as well as RAN intelligent control and open interfaces, is that it simplifies uh, op their ability to do operations at scale and to upgrade and manage and deploy the network in a significantly different way um, with uh, opportunities also to create new services, um, new network slices that are targeted for specific purposes. It also gives them an opportunity to open the kimono, if you will, of the RAN to third-party vendors to introduce new features and capability uh, for localization, for massive MIMO performance, for preemption, for priorities, and for other forms of quality of service. In Western Europe and the US, there is Ericsson and there's Nokia. There isn't really a strong big third uh, vendor for RAM-based technology. So I think a lot of the operators are looking for that third option, to be honest, um, because they won't necessarily only do something with Ericsson and only do something with Nokia. They, they typically will share that risk for resilience purposes across at least three different vendors. So I think ORAN has a very interesting spot in order to be able to achieve and, and deliver that. Some of our customers are also talking about as they deploy the open RAN system, they are designing into it the ability for it to also have open compute capability. So in essence, the open RAN as it's deployed in the future becomes an edge network. There's a lot in um, what's going on with 5G that creates new efficiencies in RAN deployments, right? So you get aggregation economics against portions of the RAN infrastructure.